It's been a hell of a year, and it's the end of August right now, and I'm literally trying to start over. But this time I'm dead serious, I'm literally starting over. <laughs> trying to erase the past two years from my head so I could finally attach myself back to the reality, because I've been derealized since 2016, pretty much. It's been seven years. I have no idea why I just complicate and even overcomplicate stuff. It's simple. It's very simple. I have everything I've ever wanted. Like literally everything I've ever wanted. This is exactly what I've been praying for for the past few years. and I have no idea how this camera is gonna survive what I'm about to or how long I'm gonna speak for <laughs> let me let me turn that way it's much prettier let me show you where I am right now that's what I was trying to make you see just flew my drone took a shower right after it I wanted to show you around um, and I wanted to shortly I wanted to briefly introduce myself for everyone who's watching me for the first time hi I'm Danella I come from <laughs> this this village and this countryside is not my hometown, Mostares, but I still decided to leave my city because I don't feel good about myself living there. So here I am right now. I have three dogs, a boyfriend, a house on the way. <laughs> Nature lover. Derealized, trying to solve my derealization problem. I don't have any friends. I do have friends, but I don't have any like best, 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 best friends besides my boyfriend and probably my family there's only one person who literally gave he's all for me and that's my manager i say manager because i want you guys to know that i run a business and there's somebody managing it and he's the best human ever you'll get to meet him soon in future vlogs <laughs> we can also say that i do not allow myself to have best friends or to actually think that i have best friends i probably do have people that care about me but i just can't take it in i don't for some reason believe in that shit but anyway long story short i'm planning on not living this life by the rules i visited like so many different countries but for short i want to be in between japan and bosnia that's my that's my future long-term plan i have an online english academy we teach german also i have employees i have a snake maybe somewhere around because i just heard something <laughs> Oh, it's still recording. Great. 1%. 3 minutes and 21 seconds. Nice. Anyway, I work hard. I'm a hard worker. I work smart also. I used to do something for my country and its people before. And surrounding countries also, but I gave that up. Not good for my health. I don't want to talk about it. I did a uh, voice over for that part that I decided not to include in, into this vlog because it just makes me feel freaking bad. So let's not talk about it. You can find me on Instagram, 
TikTok and YouTube here. So please make sure to subscribe and share this video with whomever wants to see Bosnia and Herzegovina and how we'd be living here um, when it comes to the countryside. <laughs> um, I'll introduce you to my three dogs and my boyfriend in the future vlogs. And I hope my content brings peace to you. That's all. Peace out. In order for you to understand me fully, I need to give you a little backstory of mine. And it starts two years ago. Not too long ago. I'm from Bosnia and Herzegovina. It's a very small country in Europe. All I've ever known was English teaching. I had no other job. And I thought that that would be the only job of mine, like forever. That's all I've ever known until I got my first camera. And I was like, okay, damn, I enjoy cinematography. <laughs> That's nice. Yes, I'm there. 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 Just as I was about to focus on that, focus on my cinematography skills, I somehow managed to fall into this Balkan trap. Now, if you're asking yourself, Balkan? What, what is that? I'm talking about the Balkan countries. Bosnia and Herzegovina, Croatia, Serbia, Macedonia, Albania, like a bunch of other awesome countries. I started doing TikToks expecting myself to go viral in the United States or in the rest of the world, but somehow I ended up going viral here for the wrong people. And I was like, okay. I decided to go along with it and it got me really freaking depressed two years later. I managed to build a brand, I managed to build a business, I have an online English teaching academy, we do German also, but I managed to get extremely depressed because of the mentality of the people here. I dodged my whole English with an LA YouTube channel because of the Balkans, and I regret it. I definitely do. I should have just gone on with, you know, with making YouTube videos in English. But I switched to Bosnian and people started stoning me for who I am. And I'm just someone who's trying to make a change, make it a lot easier for everyone to live by sharing my own life and advice. People started stoning me for it. And two years later, here I am doing my very first, again, YouTube video in English, deciding to focus on the rest of the world. I wish my YouTube subscribers came from the same countries that Yona Yinton's YouTube subscribers come from or Isabel Page YouTube subscribers come from. I just want to have the same community because you guys are so awesome and I need to be inspired in order to keep creating. I hope my videos reach you. I really do. I really do. I enjoy making them, but if it's not for the right people, it turns into something completely different. So I'm playing smart right now. I decided to not abandon my people. I'm not abandoning them. All I'm doing is switching to a different language with some subtitles under my videos for the ones who really want to listen to me, for the ones who really are trying to change their lives too, for the better. I want to keep doing this, because it feels good. Prijateljem jednim kako mi je žao ljudi koji ne iskoriste svoj puni potencijal samo zato jer je istran život. Srad nepoznato gdje bote život pa nepoznato je nepoznato, ne znam što se čeka iza vrata, ali puni potencijal, kvaliteta jedne osobe bude sahranjena, dženaza, rip. Jer se osoba boji. Čega? Iluzije. Iluzije. Šta će života bi? Pa reš umret, odvadi sigurno. Samo neke random thoughts. Random misli.
Thank you.